Uh oh, uh oh, okay, hold on. Ah, good day everyone and welcome back to another one life episode so we have made it so far in this series i'm so proud of myself for not dying yet um but i'm just so happy i love this game so much uh so last episode we spent it decorating uh we created this lovely bedroom with my gorgeous razzle dazzle bed um but a lot of you guys recommended that i use fairy lights which isn't in the deco bench you just create them yourself so to make them all you need is iron dye and glass so i think for here it would be super cute if i did like a white and pink fairy light um or magenta purple and white i don't really know how these things work i've never used them so let's just go and try and see how these things are made um i don't know if you have to make one individual i have no idea we're gonna find out together so let's take out a bunch of iron let's get our glass panes which i think there are some up here and then our dye 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 okay we have magenta let's get some pink going with our pink tulips uh, perfect. We'll take these six, make that pink dye nice and good like. Okay, cool. And then, oh, I guess we should get some white ones too. So let's get our meal of bones. Fabulous. This is so simple. Oh, okay. So it makes four. Let's just try this. I saw Lizzie doing this, but I don't remember what she did. So let's try a magenta. Okay, I think that goes there. Um, yeah, let's just see if we can mix two colors together. I'm pretty positive you can. So let's just say like we want to go like this, this, and this. Nope. I don't know how this thing works. How do you make a string of fairy lights? Maybe there's a, I don't know, I have no idea. Okay, let's just try it with just, we'll just try it with just pink. I'm so confused. How did she do it? Okay, maybe I should look it up, but so here. How the heck do you place fairy lights? I'm so confused. Okay, you know what, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go watch Lizzie's video and see how she did it. Actually, wait, there's people online. I could just ask them. Oh, it says, did you make it into a string? You need to make the bulbs, then put them on string. Oh. Okay. <laughs> right, of course. Do I have string? I don't know if I have string. I know I have cotton, but I don't think I have string. String would be in here. <gasps> I don't have string. Okay. To the cotton farm. <laughs> it says put iron ingot, string, iron ingot, and then whatever bulbs you want. <gasps> wow. Okay. Thanks, fairy light master. Okay. Let's go. Oh, look at I have been farming a bunch of cotton. Oh, this is perfect. I'm so glad I made more of these. Come to me, my children. Come, come one, come all. There we go, there we go. Gorgeous. Let's make some string and let's make these fairy lights. And let's go to bed because it's getting dark out and there's other people on the server who could die. Ah, good morning. Okay, so let's make our string to make the stringed fairy lights. Okay, so then that's probably how you make the different colors. Magenta and pink would look so cute upstairs. I think we need to add the white though. Let's do it. Okay, so cotton, I believe we need three like this. Yep, so I think it goes string, iron, string, and then the bulbs here. I don't get it. Okay, I think we did it. <gasps> pink, white, and magenta. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Fairy lights, here we come. Okay, I think it'll look cute from up there <gasps> to over here. Oh, oh my God, it's so freaking cute and magical and beautiful. Oh, um, damn, gee, that is so freaking cute. <gasps> I need these literally everywhere in my house. Okay, let's. Let's look down here. Where, what, 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 okay, I don't even know. I'm like so overwhelmed. Those fairy lights are incredible. Okay, so down here, what if we did, well, damn, let's look at what other colors we can make. Fairy lights, oh my gosh, okay. Maybe red, yellow, and white down here to match the carpet, and we could put them up there, or would that not be cute? Maybe magenta, 
I have no idea. This is, is so overwhelming. Just seeing how freaking cute those ones are. <sighs> Wait. Does white tulips turn into white dye? Have I been using bone meal as dye? <gasps> oh no, that turns into light gray dye. That's stupid. I bet the dandelion turns into yellow. Sure does. Okay, so we have yellow. Let's try red, yellow, and white. Or is that gonna look like McDonald's? I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about these colors together. What if we just did red and white? No. Okay, let's just see. I think this is actually gonna be really ugly. But we'll see. Yeah, that's not cute. That does not represent what Joey is all about. I'm sorry, Lights, but you can't you can't stay here anymore. I say we go with a um I really don't know what. Let's see, where else could use some fairy lights? Oh, this barn could use fairy lights. Maybe the colors would look good here. Or we'll do magenta, or we won't do that at all actually <gasps> okay fairy lights will look good there but definitely not those colors um red and white wouldn't be bad if it was just red and white like let's just imagine that yellow one not there no let's do pink no what am i do i don't oh, indecisive i'm twitching okay so i've calmed down a bit and i came up with the lovely idea to do cyan with white light. So I made some cyan dye, and I think this is perfect. It matches the wood, it's gorgeous. And then with a full white set of lights, I put them out here, which I absolutely love. I think it's like, the thing is already pretty colorful, so just adding white just adds a little pop of white to it, obviously. Um, so I need to balance it on the other side, so I'm going to get some more white lights. And I don't know if I'm going to put any on the outside of my house. I don't think so, just because, unless I did, it would be white. <gasps> Let's test it! Oh, you know what? I'll just go make some more. Why the hell not? Okay, let's test this out. Come on, fairy lights, let's get fairying. Okay, so over there, to over there. Oh, to over there. <gasps> okay, hold up, hold up. Is this, is that too much? I can't tell, is that too much? Kind of, maybe, yeah, it is. I can't tell. Why is this so difficult for me to answer questions to myself? I think it's too much. It's too much, isn't it? I knew it was too much. Is it? No. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Okay. Sure. Yeah. No. <sighs> you know what? We're just going to take these lights over to the blue side and I'm going to let you guys let me know in the comments if I should put fairy lights all along these window things. Is that going to be too much? You tell me because clearly today Joey doesn't understand life. Okay, cool. Let's definitely put this here and that there. Gorgeous. See, now that I can be on board with like that just fits doesn't it or does it not <gasps> all right calm down joey um i don't think i can be around fairy lights honestly they make me go absolutely crazy just because i can't i'm so indecisive with them <sighs> okay <sighs> anyways so i'm gonna enjoy the fairy lights that i do have which are up here and down there but the other thing i want to do this episode which you guys also recommended is to move this into a uh, a sheep place so right next to this horse place I'm going to make a sheep thing I don't remember if I mentioned this in my last episode but you guys said to make it each house be a rainbow color so that's what I'm gonna do the next one is going to be right here um, let's see do I have any blocks here we could put some sand just to kind of map it out um, let's have it go back a little this one is just gonna mostly be long and then where is you? Okay. Where are you? Okay. So it'll be like this. So this will be in, I think. And then it will go a long ways. So this is going to be half sheep, half cow farm. So I'm thinking if I do it super long, I'll fit both of them in here. And then I kind of want to make it so it goes inwards and then out here. So maybe I do have to make this a little wider, but, um, does that make sense? I don't think so. What am I doing? I'm confused. Wait, hold on. So that way, basically, I could walk in and then to my left would be where all the cows are and then it, they would be cut off here 
and then the center could just be something and then over here this is where the sheep would be right yeah I like that I think that would be cool okay so let's plan on that but let's just take a look back um, let's see yeah that's a good size too it's not like too online with that okay perfect well let's go pick out the colors of what that will be so we have red and blue so the other color options would be green yellow orange purple and pink so we have quite a lot to choose from I don't let's just go look at our options so let's look up wood okay so just kidding there is no orange planks we have red there's no yellow planks okay so our option might be green I want these damn ethereal wood planks so badly so badly Scott told me that the ethereal planks are not in this server like they don't naturally grow but I'm wondering if we could make a store and sell the ethereal saplings and that way we can use the wood okay this just in apparently if the saplings are placed in the overworld they just grow as oak trees so we're never gonna get those damn ethereal trees and the dimension that they grow in is not in this version or whatever so we're just gonna have to go to stained planks so our options are purple pink green lime green there's quite a bit uh so i want to test each of them so let's see we have some magenta we have pink and we have cyan oh we have cyan a cyan color Ooh, cyan stained i guess that's too similar to the blue so let's stick with uh the colors we have we'll do lime we'll do green and we'll do pink and purple okay so let's get some planks out all right so i made a bunch of stained oak planks we're gonna go over here and test and see which one looks best against these so it's kind of annoying because these are pastel and those ones are very like bold colors like i like to say um so let's see first of all what the difference between the magenta's pink and purple are so let's pretend this is what we're dealing with okay so this one's purple this one's pink and this one is magenta i like the purple i think the best but you know what let's put these actually closer to the two of these like right in between them so we can see how they'll look so we'll do purple okay so definitely not the pink i think the pink is way too light for here so it's between the purple and the magenta so this is what the purple would look like in between which i love and this is what the magenta which i i kind of like too i say we go with purple no i am the most indecisive person i have ever met it must be so frustrating for you guys because i literally can't decide anything today okay I'm, i chose magenta i changed my mind <gasps> or we could do half and half no that would be weird okay um they're so similar it's kind of like dumb what if we use the pink the ma the purple for the build no the pink for the building and magenta for the floors let's do that cool it's been decided so pink building or magenta building and purple floors gorgeous okay so let's um let's now pick out the structural wood so we have the jacarandara and the dark oak so we're doing magenta out here now let's go see what our planks look like oh umbrin would look so pretty because it's like a purpley dark umbrum with the purple oh we need to do that we need to go find umbrum that would look so pretty and i just realized we never tested the green we just went straight to pink i forgot we got green and lime green <gasps> are we gonna go on an adventure for umbrum i don't know what umbrum is but we're gonna figure it out okay so let's just amuse myself and let's try the green as well let's see what the green would look like back here and that was lime green this is green Ooh, i kind of like the green would be so pretty we'll save green for something else yeah we'll do that we'll do the purple and magenta it's, it's already been decided okay but before we go on the quest for umbrum let's see what pine and dark and also magic logs look like next to this 
Okay, that's kind of cute. <gasps> oh no, the blood moon's rising. Oh, come on. How frustrating. Ugh. I don't like any of those. We need to find Umbrum, but we're not going to do that on the blood moon now, are we? All right, children, stay safe. I hope you all a lovely blood moon. Good night. A good day, I should say. Um, so I'm a little worried. So I have these glass doors now. <laughs> Are zombies going to break in? They might. I don't know if they're going to come even to my house, but um, this could be scary. This could be bad. I don't know. Do I log out? I think I should just come back. I'm going to go research Umbrum logs and we'll figure things out. I need, a, I need to put torches in here. It's kind of dark over on this wall. Just spawn a bunch of zombies in my house, why don't I? All right, guys. So it turns out that Umbrin, this tree right here, this wood, uh, it exists somewhere in this world and we need to go find it because I think it would look so pretty, especially with the light pink or the purple, whatever we decided on. So I asked Lizzie, she's like, boy, I have never seen that before and I've been everywhere. But, um, <laughs> maybe she hasn't been all the places that I've been. So we're going to go exploring. We're going to head west. So I'm going to go grab my horsey and we're just going to go on a quest. Let's make sure we have everything. We have an ax to cut trees down. Um, and let's bring our shulker box just in case we need some extra space. And then let's go grab our horse and let's go on an adventure. I'm nervous. I have my milk. I have water, I have golden apples, I'm nervous, but we're gonna do this in honor of whatever those trees are called. All right, come on, Horsia. It's time that we ride like the wind. Ooh, let's go. Alrighty, and we're off. So we're gonna go out the back door. I brought a bed so we can sleep in. Um, we're ready to go. Don't worry, sheep and cows. I'll be back to make you a gorgeous, gorgeous home. Okay, so let's just go Westy McWesterston. Oh, I think I put a bridge over here for my horse. Okay, perfect. Cross this. And then we're just going to keep going west till we can't go west no more is what we got to do. Oh, so also this is CPK's house I found out. And that is Yemi and Kyle's. So hello, guys. Don't mind me. I'm just going <gasps> to... A wolf! We don't have wolves! <gasps> we'll be back for you. I guess there's quite a bit of wolves over here, so we'll come back for them at another time. Oh my, I need another damn bridge. All right, maybe we can make this jump. I hate this part. Oh, I should have brought my lead. No, horsey, this way. So it's in, um, I believe it's called, what is the forest called? Let's see what this biome is called. It's something ominous. It's called the... <laughs> I was like, it's something ominous sounding. It's literally called the ominous woods. Oh, we should get some of these yellow flowers for when we need yellow dye. Which I don't know why we're ever going to need yellow dye, but you never know. So let's just grab it just in case. Okay, so we're just going to keep going west. And we can't get lost because we have a waypoint set up. Oh, that looks... That looks like a, a great place to never go. Uh-oh, it's getting dark out. Um, wow, we're in an ice biome. Oh, we could get ice if we ever needed it. Cool. Is this, what is this place? Wow, <gasps> so magical looking. Cool. I like these spheres. Okay, sorry, Horsia, I need to get off. We need to dig a hole to sleep in tonight. So excuse me. Horsey, Horsia, there you are, okay. So we're just going to keep heading west until we find gold. And by gold, I mean an ominous for... Oh! Okay. A polar bear. Wow. See, oh, me, oh, my. That's a lot of damn lava. Holy freaking crap. Wow, that mountain's real scary. That's an intense mountain holy crap let's go up this little thing i'm curious what's up here oh it's just ice wow part ice part lava that's pretty intense okay okay that's so high up i wonder if there's anything cool up there probably just bad guys <gasps> uh oh a polar bear with her cub let's oh lots of polar bears okay we're just gonna 
I'm just gonna go right past them. Everyone just ignore the polar bears with their children. They might attack, says Stacy. You know what, I'm gonna eat a golden apple just to be extra cautious and safe. We are exploring the unknown. I think that's the opposite of a ominous forest, actually. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever seen these trees before. Which ones are those? Are they just oak? Oh, they're just oak with different leaves. Those woods look kind of ominous looking. They're definitely not, but I think we might be headed in the right direction. Hello, are you ominous? Or anonymous? Anonymous. What even are these? Fur. <gasps> we do not have any fur where I come from. Don't mind if I do take some of these. Fur could be very interesting. It seems pretty basic, but you never know. Don't judge a book by its cover or the wood it's made from. Aha. <gasps> oh, you know what? We actually might. Oh, no, that was just a pine cone. Okay, cool. We have a fur sapling. Let's get out of here and go. Oh, I almost just tried mounting that cow. <laughs> <gasps> Sorry, Cal, that would have been very awkward and interesting. Okay, so let's go find this ominous. <gasps> okay, these woods are freaking Katniss Everdeen girl on fire status. Let's just let's just go over there. I know only you can prevent forest fires, but also only me can has one life. So I'm not gonna put myself at risk. Mr. Ominous uh ominous? Anonymous. Ooh, there's lots of lily pets here. Let's grab those. <gasps> what are you? What is that? Oh, it looks dangerous, but it looks also really freaking cute. It's a platypus. It's a damn platydampus. Will it attack me? I'm scared. No, I can't. <gasps> oh, but he looks so cute. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. Okay, here. Let's get on top of this. And let's just attack him. And we'll stay up here. Maybe that was a little too high. Oh my god, I'm scared. Hello? <gasps> He's gone! I murdered a platypus! Maybe he'll be forever on this lily pad. But probably not. Oh my god, that was so cute. I'm so sorry, platypus, if I killed you. Oh my gosh, I'm scared he's gonna come back. And <gasps> Horsia, you scared me. I didn't know where you went. Past the evil platypuses and to the ominous woods we go. Oh, the peonies. Don't mind if I do collect these. Oh, this biome is so freaking cute. I wish I built my house here. It's so pretty. It's so cute. Oh, what are these leaves? Don't mind if I shear those. Flowering oak leaves. Oh my. Those will go gorgeous in my house somewhere. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so as you can tell, I was very, very silent right there. Um, holy crap. So I nearly just died. I think I'm suffocating in the ground. So I reached out to Lizzie and I was like, girl, I'm suffocating. I need you to help me. So she came, she cleared out the land. I'm going to log in and fingers crossed, I'm not suffocating still. Okay, let's do it. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Please, 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 please. Oh, oh, Lizzie, <laughs> you saved me. Oh my God, thank you so much. I owe you my life. <laughs> oh my God, you can have anything on my chest. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so scary, guys. I thought it was over. I thought there was no possible way I was getting out of here alive, but Lizzie literally came. She saved the day. I wonder if Horsey is still here. Oh, <laughs> Lizzie's gone. Bye, Lizzie. Oh my gosh, Horsey. Horsey. Oh no, this is actually kind of really sad. She's not here. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to get to a high vantage point. Okay, I'm having another damn golden apple. I wanna go home. I am so scared. Like this is this has been such a terrifying experience. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to find a way 
Like, this is gonna take me so long to get- Oh, Horsia, there you are. Oh my gosh. That was so scary, Horsia. I almost died. I almost suffocated. This game could have been over for us. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm like so torn now. <laughs> Theme of the video. I'm torn. Like, do I keep going? I feel like if I don't keep going and traveling and exploring, I'm gonna never leave my house again. So I feel like I have to for that, that sake of just like not being afraid. Um, damn, okay. Oh my goodness, okay. Like I can't, I can't be ruled by fear for the rest of my life. So I'm just gonna collect some more things. I wanna find this biome so I can get these damn trees that I came out here for. Um, Horsia, stop running away. I almost died. I literally almost died. I can't believe I'm at full health again. This is, this was so crazy. This was such a crazy, uh, I don't even know what happened because I had plenty of space in there. I think, I think it was a glitch because I don't know if this was included in the recording or not. Um, but I was glitching before when I was cutting these things like I, I just kept getting stuck in the land and that's been happening to other people on the server so I think maybe that's what happened I just got caught on the earth on a weird way um I don't think it was my fault it might have been my fault I don't really know um but close damn call thank god Lizzie was online and guys she was so sweet to come all this way to come save me like that that took like so much time for her to get here so Lizzie you are a true friend and I'm gonna get you the best present you could have ever wanted. I don't know what it is yet, but it's yours. I'm gonna get it. I wish I could have given her that platypus. You know what? She, she's she been wanting more lily pads. I don't know if she got them in her episode, but maybe I'll give her all the lily pads I got as a start. That's just an appetizer to the gift that I present Lizzie, queen of saving me at one life. Um, okay. All right, Horsia, <laughs> where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Okay, listen up, Horsia. You can't keep doing this now, can you? No, you cannot. I'm so scared to go back asleep again. <gasps> I'm so terrified. Okay, we got plenty of that stuff. Now let's just keep looking for this ominous forest. Ooh, what are those? A rose bush. <gasps> rose bushes are so pretty. Hold on. These are real pretty. Wolfia, I mean, Horsia, you stay. Um, a clover will. We'll drop the pine cone. I want the roses. I love that they're pink in this resource pack. I love this resource pack so much. It's so freaking cute. All right. I'm, I'm just gonna go a little bit further. And if I, if I don't find the ominous forest, I think I'm gonna head back home, but I'm just gonna give it maybe like another five minutes before I give up. Okay, it's getting night, and I think I see a village up ahead, which is perfect timing because we can just sleep in a bed there and not worry about, you know, having to dig a hole at night. What a measly small village you have here. All right, well, let's go explore it, and then um, we will see if we can sleep here for the night. I'm sure they're not going to care because guess what? They don't have a damn choice. Also, if there's a library here, we could get more books and see if there's a librarian villager because, all right, you know, I'm just going to sleep in here. No, I'm not because villagers can open the door. Um, okay, let's go find a room that's not occupied. Oh, there's a library. Perfect. Is that a librarian? How do I get in? Okay, let me in, let me in, let me in. Hello, sir board up this door so no one can get in let's put a torch down this is where we're gonna sleep for the night <sighs> what <gasps> oh my god oh my god it's a blood moon it's a blood damn moon it's a blood damn freaking moon I can't even sleep this is the worst thing to ever happen oh my god I need to board up all the doors let's light it up Light every little inch of this place up. We have to survive this. Oh my gosh. I'm scared, dude. Are you scared? Because you should be scared. Here, we need a... 
I need to close off all these windows. I think we're safe. I think we're safe. Um, well, okay. Let's trade with this guy. Oh, a cartographer. 35 paper for an emerald. Lizzie just bounced. She's like, I'm done with this. I can't even. I'm kind of feeling the same way too. So I think I'm just going to log out. I'm not even going to risk this. This villager could like let some zombies in or something. I'm kind of scared. All right. I got to get out of here. Disconnect. Whew. Okay. I'm back on the server. It's daylight. I don't think there's any other bad guys out here. Um, okay. I made it through the night. Let's see what this... Oh, the cartographer only trades paper for an emerald. This is actually a really good deal. Wow. 35 for one. Just... I have a ton of paper from all... Oh my. I wish I was here longer. Here, let's um store a bunch of stuff in my shulker box. Now, let's get the heck out of here, sir. I'm gonna get my sword at the ready, just in case there's not- Oh! Okay, there was no way we were getting in there. Any bad guys out here? Hello? Hi, bad guys? Okay, good. Horsey is still alive. Um, alright. Let's check and see if there's any chests in any of these village houses. A sugar cane. <gasps> a wolf! Oh, buddy! Oh! Oh my gosh! I would love to take you home. But we're so far away, if I were to tame him, he'd be stuck here forever as a tamed horse. Horse. <laughs> a tame wolf. So I'm not going to do that, but I'll be back next episode probably to get some wolves. Um, it doesn't look like any of these houses have... Oh, you know what? Maybe in here. Hello, what are you, sir? A cartographer as well. Okay, doesn't seem like there's actually any chest here so we got the books let's head on our adventure we're going west so let's continue west and let's go find that ominous forest whoa what are those trees okay hold up i've never seen those before what the heck kind of biome is that wow are these redwood trees i think they are Oh me oh my. Wow. They are redwood. I'm just gonna collect them just because I don't have any. But holy damn crap. That's crazy. Megan would go crazy. She would make the most like <laughs> tallest tree houses ever. Maybe I should get her some saplings and oh my god. Yes, I'm gonna get her some saplings and I'm gonna be like plant these. And then she'll literally be so shook all right cool so we have a ton of these come here come here little sapling there you go okay so i don't know if we should go through this forest it seems potentially dangerous i'm kind of scared um but i kind of also want to see what it's like i've never been through it i don't want to get stuck in like quicksand or something hmm maybe this is the way to that forest though the ominous forest. I'm still so in shock from what happened last episode. I'm gonna build... I need to build a home. It's getting dark and I'm not doing what I did last time. So let's get a hut going. Okay, I made a lovely bed. Now let's not freaking suffocate, shall we not? We shall not. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, I survived the night. Thank goodness. That was so terrifying yet again. All right, Horsia, let's get the heck out of here. Let's try and find this ominous forest. This has been the most intense episode ever. The Redwoods were not as scary as I thought they were going to be, <sighs> which I'm very relieved about. There's a skeleton baby child weird thing coming after us. Oh me oh my. Okay. My biggest fear is falling in a pit of lava. That would just be so bad. So I'm just gonna just gonna avoid all lava pits. Well, at least we saw the um 
the redwoods that's pretty cool right okay let's get some of this just in case we come across that village again which we probably won't but just in case we'll collect some of that wow that's a big old birch forest oh me oh my a swamp biome i don't really want to go in there but there are so many lily pads I don't think there's really too many bad guys in there, right? I don't know. Those vines are really pretty. I kind of want to collect those vines. Okay, we're going to go in there for the vines and the lily pads and we'll be okay. Swamps are scary, but they don't have to be. Okay, Horsia, where are you? Let's get the heck out of here and off these vines. Got a ton of vines. I guess they're just the regular vines, but they look cool in my resource pack, so there's that. Um, but let's keep looking for this ominous forest. <sighs> this is a big forest. It looks pretty ominous, but it's not the same ominous that I need, and I'm kind of scared to go in there. So let's go around it. <sighs> wow, why is there this giant mushroom right there? That's so weird. <sighs> okay. Let's keep going this way. What is this dark soil? It's mud. Oh my gosh, I've never seen mud before. Okay. Um, I'm a little afraid to walk through the swamp with my horse, but we're just gonna do it. Oh my gosh. Do you know what this reminds me of? The never ending story? Which I don't know is a good thing or a bad thing. Wait, what's all that yellow stuff? <gasps> oh, hell no, hell no, hell no. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Why are there so many damn blood moons? Why? Okay, okay. Oh my god. Okay, I need a, I need a... Shelter myself up. I hate leaving my house. This is why I don't leave my house, ever. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is hell, this sucks. Oh my god, there's so many bad guys down there. They can probably see me through the leaves too. Oh my god. Well, I just wanted to get myself in a nice safe place. Oh, okay, good. All right, I'm protected from the blood moon, I believe. Um, okay, all right, I need to log out. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the blood moon is over, um, but there are bad guys, it sounds like, outside. I don't know where or what they're doing. I don't know if they're on top of me or what. I'm scared. Oh, I'm being shot at. Okay. And I see my horse over there. Um, okay. Well, don't really know what to do at this point. Except wait for them all to burn. Haha, <laughs> you burning loser. Oh, I want to shoot at them so bad. Yes, burn in the light. Burn! I want to make a run for it to my horse. Oh, there's a creeper down there, too. Everyone needs to just burn already. Oh my gosh. So many bad guys. Creepers, zombies, all of them. This isn't good. This is, this is hell. This is actual freaking hell. Oh, look at those little spiders, too. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Everyone just needs to die. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do. I don't know what the heck to do. I want to go home. I want to go home so bad. I don't I don't want to be out here anymore. I want to go home. That's all. I just want to go home. Okay, we could make a run for it and just run into the water. I don't think that skeleton can kill us. I don't have any, I don't have any more golden apples. We need to go home. There's no more. There's no possible way I can be out here anymore. I don't have any golden apples. Okay, I'm going to get on my horse and we're going to ride home. Okay, if I just get in the water, I can swim over there. I can use my bow to shoot at whatever's shooting at me. I can I can make a run for it. I'm just going to make a bridge over to here. Okay, I don't think anything saw me. So I'm just going to make a run for it. Okay, nothing saw me. Thank goodness, Gratianius. All right, Horsia, you need to come over here to me. Because, girl, like, this is, this is madness. This is so, this is not what I wanted to do today. We gotta go home. We gotta get some golden apples. We need to go save ourselves. We got lots of plants. So there's that. 
We got lots of goody McGoodersons with plants and whatnot galore. Let's just count our blessings and we'll try it a different way next time. Maybe we'll travel by boat and let's just go home. This has just been a hell of an episode. Honestly, true hell. This is what hell is like, in case you're wondering what hell is. This is this is a piece of it. For sure, this episode was hell. Oh, okay, clear and opening. Oh, another village. Oh, yes. Do you think I could spend the night here? Perhaps they have something we could eat. Perhaps it's a di I think it's a different village. It sure is. Ooh, wow, that's a purple field. Oh, that's pretty over there. Imagine if those were the flowers. Hold on, let's actually, let's, should we go over there? No, let's check around out. But that's a lot of purple flowers that we could use for dyes. Okay, do you guys have a chest for me, perhaps? Oh, you have books. Hello, a cartographer again. Hello, Mr. Cartographer. I may have a business proposition for you. Let's find out. So I have 10, that's not nearly enough, sugar cane. But let's just make sure. Yeah, that's only <laughs> only a few pages. Okay, that's unfortunate. That's fine. What level are you though? 29, yep, can't do that. I'm just gonna steal these books. Thank you, sir. I can't wait to go to that flower field of all those purple flowers. That'll be incredible. It's getting nighttime, so I say we sleep here for the night. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go in this room. I'm gonna go in that bigger room we know I am with small rooms. Okay, enough coming in and out of the damn house, everyone. Goodness gracious, I'm trying to sleep here. Oh, wow, they're just all watching me sleep now. How creepy. Come on, let's sleep, everyone. Oh, that was scary. Okay, gorgeous. Well, now that you've all seen me sleep, Freaks. Oh, hello. Out of my way, please, sir. I'm going to the flower fields. Um, don't mind me. I'll be on my merry way with Horsia. Gorgeous. Thank you for the lovely stay. I rate you five stars. Wow, lavender. There's a whole lavender field. Oh, me, oh my. I'm gonna have so much purple dye. Oh, how perfect, because we're going to have to dye the things. So this is why we came here. For the purple flowers, for the purple dye. I'm so over this. This adventure was hell. I wish that we came across the ominous forest, but you know what? <sighs> we got, um, we got a little, we, uh, just shut up, Joey. Just shut the hell up. You don't even know how to speak this episode. So stop trying. We traveled a long way from home. Holy crap. We're 3,000 blocks away. Oh man, oh man. I'm never leaving my house without a lead ever again. And if I do, yell at me. Yell at me until I cry. I went the wrong way. I went back the way I came. Oh my gosh, we went over that bridge for whole, oh my gosh. I, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Can you believe that just happened? I can't. <laughs> It's almost nighttime. We're not gonna even make it home in time for dinner. Oh, I hate this, I hate this so much. Why did we ever leave? We should have never left our home. I'm hoping that we can find another village to sleep in for the night, but that might not work out in our favor. So, we might have to build shelter again in a cave. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead on, oh, there goes my horse again. She just disappeared in the world. She's, ooh, city? Okay, enough looking at this. We need a date with a shovel. All right, horse, yeah. See you later. You know what this kind of reminds me of, this cave? You know that episode when in Pokemon when Ash um, is trapped? I think it was, oh my gosh, idiot. Um, and he had Charmander's tail lighting the fire and all the Pokemon kept him warm. That's exactly what this is, basically. Okay, a nice big room for our gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bed. Let's sleep. Ah, okay, 
should be morning. Let's go outside. Let's hop on our horse and let's GTFO. Oh, Horsia, we've been through so much together. Honestly, this has been a crazy adventure. Oh, we did the same thing again where we went the opposite way. Oh. Okay, I think we can make it home in time for dinner tonight. Finally. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, girl. All right, we're with the polar bears now, which means we're close to home. Now let's not get mauled by them. Okay. We went from 3,000 to 300 blocks away. I think we're gonna make it home just okay. Oh, Yami's house. Oh, thank goodness. I've never been so happy to see Yami's house before. Okay. I will never leave my house without a damn lead as long as I live. I think I'm gonna cry when I see my house. I'm gonna be so happy and excited. Oh my gosh, okay, let's cross. <gasps> we made it, and it's dark out. Oh my gosh, yes, perfect timing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Go, go, go. <gasps> oh my gosh, my home, my home. <gasps> I didn't think I was ever gonna make it back alive, but here I am. Close these damn gates. <gasps> Let me in. Oh, I love placing blocks like that. Oh my gosh, I made it. Okay, Horsia, I need to drop you off at the house at your freaking stupid place. Oh me, oh my. What a day. Oh, good, and I just lost suffocation again. Okay, well, you know what? I don't think I can handle any more of this episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good day, bye.